Meanwhile, the anti-corruption court in Nairobi has given prosecutors three weeks to review the 7.4 billion shilling corruption charges against Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa and nine others. Milimani Anti-Corruption Court Magistrate Victor Wahumile granted the DPP's request to postpone the hearing scheduled for this week to give prosecutors time to review the case before giving directions on whether or not the trial will proceed. Leila Mohammed has that report. The prosecutor has until November 21st to return to court with the trial directions. At that time, the court will expect the prosecutor to make an announcement that will determine whether the sitting deputy president will be prosecuted or his case will be dropped. Prosecutors from the DPP's office have told the court that some accused persons in the case had reached out to that office, seeking to have the DPP review the evidence and charges against them. The prosecution is not ready to proceed in today's hearing. Deputy President Keshagwa's lawyer Gibson Kimani did not oppose the request by the DPP to review the charges against him. The DP himself wasn't in court physically. This matter was set to be mentioned virtually. Hearing was, in fact, expected to commence today. However, in view in view of the application by the prosecution, the court shall make no adverse orders against the accused persons who are absent today. Gashagwa and his co-accused have been ordered to appear in court on November 21st in person as the DPP is expected to inform the court of his decision to review the case. The decision for adjournment is hereby granted and uh, the hearing is scheduled for 18th and 19th September 2022 stands vacated so as to facilitate a review of the matter as requested by the prosecution. The matter shall now proceed as scheduled on 21st November, 22nd November, 23rd November, 25th November. So let your clients know. The DP is charged with nine others, including Senator William Mohome Mwangi of Nyeri, Ann Nduta Ruo, Julian Jahenda Maka, Samuel Murimi, Grace Wamboy Karioki, Lawrence Kimaru, Irene Wamboy Ndagiriri, David Ruben, and MS Rapid Medical Supplies. They are accused of fraudulently receiving 7.3 billion shillings through three bank accounts at Rafiki Microfinance Bank, while knowing that the monies were proceeds of crime. Gashagwa is also facing other several charges within the court system. Leila Mohamed, NTV.